Okay, so let's simplify some problems here. Now, cube root, I need to break it up to two parts. So one part is my perfect cubes. My other part is what's left over. What perfect cube goes into 27? Well, I hope you know 3 cubed is 27. So 10 would be left over. I need a power divisible by 3, so it would be x to the 30th x squared. Now, this is leftover stuff. I can't do anything with it. But this, the cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of x to the 30th is x to the 10th. So this one, I got need perfect fourth powers. That means this has to be divisible by 4. So I'd break it up x to the 16th. x squared would be left over. y to the 4th, y cubed would be left over. So it'd be x to the 4th y and the fourth root of x squared y cubed. So this one, oh, this is a perfect fifth power because it's divisible by five. So I break it up the fifth root, x to the 20th, nothing left over. This one, 30 is divisible by five, so it'd be y to the 30th, and then y to the fourth left over. So this would be x to the fourth, divide 20 by five, Divide 30 by 5, you'd have y to the 6. Then this one, I'll break it up. Go ahead and do this one for me and then turn me back on. Okay, so it would be y to the 12th, excuse me, x to the 12th would be x squared, y to the 5th. So this would be x squared, y to the 10th the sixth root of x squared y to the fifth. Now to add radicals, you must have the same index. So you can only add square roots to square roots, cube roots to cube roots, and the same radican. That's the number under the radical. So, I cannot combine these, but I can simplify this. 27 would be 9 and 3, and the square root of 9 is 3. Now, some people find this very easy. Some people find it very challenging. Oops, I changed it to a 5. Oops. So, 2 square root of 3s plus 3 of them would be 5 square root of 3s. So, this one, what perfect square goes into 45? Well, that would be 9, and then 5 is left over. 20 is 4 and 5. So this would be 3 squared of 5 plus 4 is 2 squared of 5, excuse me. And that is 5 squared root of 5. So this one, 9 is a perfect square. 8 is 4 is a perfect square. So it would be 3 squared of 2 plus 2 squared of 2, which is 5 squared of 2. Okay, I need a perfect cube. Well, 2 cubed is 8. Does 8 go into 16? It sure does. And, uh, well, there's 3 zero, so hopefully you see that's 1,000. Then cube root of 8 is 2. Cube root of 1,000 is 10, so that would be 12 cube root of 2. Try those two on your own right now. Okay, 50 is 25 and 2, so it'd be 5 squared of 2. 200 would be squared of 100. 100 is a perfect square. 2, so that'd be 10 squared of 2. So that's 15 square root of 2. This one, how about 4 and 6? 4 is a perfect square. And um, let's go 100. So this would be 2 square root of 6 plus 10 square root of 3. Can I combine it because I have different radicands? This one, 8 is a perfect cube, so this would be cube root of 8 
cube root of 2. This is a 1,000. And 2. And this is cube root of 4. And 6. So this would be 2 cube root of 2, because cube root of 8 is 2. This is 10 cube root of 2. And this is... Oh, wait, I messed up. I thought it was square root. It's 8 and 3. Oops. I did that on purpose to show you how easy it is to mess up. E. So that would be 2 cube root of 3. So these two can combine because they're both cube roots in the same radicate. I cannot combine this because 3 is not the same. So it's 12 cube root of 2 plus 2 cube root of 3. Now I know this isn't easy. We're going to do this in class. And then next week, I will do multiplying and dividing and solving. Finish it up. So have a good day. Bye-bye.